what is going on everybody welcome to the Phillies Hot Stuff video cast and today will be the first flow back Thursday video uh, on this channel so uh, get excited here as we're going to go back and take a look at some cool Phillies moments uh, over the past few decades um, so most of these moments I have here um, all of them are in the 2000s took place in the 2000s um, you know so they're all kind of throughout the years they're more spread out you know like 2006 2007 09 10 um, one video is in 2011, so uh, we just kind of got some cool moments to talk about. Uh, I'm going to be showing some video clips. Before I get into this, um, all rights to Major League Baseball. Um, obviously, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't own any of those videos, so uh, all rights to Major League Baseball. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, let's not waste any time, and uh, let's get right into it. Uh, so the first one we're going to be talking about, the first clip I'm going to be showing is uh, the Ryan Howard 58th home run um and I think that was just that was amazing because like he just had such a great year that year like that was one of the best years a Phillies player has had um 58 home runs uh which was amazing that's the most home runs that a Phillies player has hit in a single season so um that was one heck of a year for Ryan Howard uh hit opposite field too uh that was against the then Florida Marlins obviously now Miami Marlins uh, and that was on uh, September 22nd of 2006. And really, if you think about it, he could have got 60. Uh, he had a few more games left of that year. I mean, it was only like uh, the 22nd. So he really could have gotten uh, 60. But nevertheless, that was a great, great uh, season for him. And 58 is still a great number. So I'm going to show this clip. He had the opposite field and listen to the great, the late, great Harry Callis making that call. Here you go. Well hit to the opposite field. I mean, that was just amazing. I mean, uh, you know, I wasn't obviously a Phillies fan at the time. I was only like two years old when that happened. But um, but just I can't – that must have been a great time to be a Phillies fan right there. I mean, uh, Ryan Howard just going off that year. Uh, it was amazing. Harry Carrick House called that. I mean, I think that was by far one of my favorite, you know, clips of this. Um, now, the next clip we got, um, it took place on se September 30th, 2007. We got Jimmy Rollins collecting his 20th triple of the season. Uh, that was the uh, 2007 season, his MVP year. Um, that was amazing. I actually was trying to find an interview. I was going to include it in here, but unfortunately the video was gone. Nowhere to be seen. Um, he was actually interviewed about that, and he was talking about how he was talking to his hitting coach. And uh, that was the year that actually he joined the 20-20-20-20 club. Um, and... Uh, you know, that was a great, great year for him. And, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with what that means, uh, it's 20 triples, 20 doubles, uh, 20 stolen bags, and obviously 20 homers. Um, he was one shy. All he needed was uh, uh, one more triple. He had 19 triples. He wanted to get that 20th triple. And he actually told the story. He was actually joking around with the hitting coach. Uh, for, I apologize. I forget his name. And, uh, you know, and uh, he said, you know, you're just going to wait until the last game of the season to hit a triple. Rollins is like, no way, I'm not going to wait until the last uh, uh, game of the season to hit a triple. So sure enough, he's sitting there. Um, he has like a 2-2 count, uh, and he rips the ball down the, right, uh, down the right field line. And he's actually telling the story. As he was going to second base, he's like, do I stay or should I, should I go? Like, what should I do? He's like, I'm gone, I'm gone. And he said when he got the third base, he saw – Ryan Zimmerman, who was obviously the national third baseman at that time now, first base, and he put his glove up. He was getting ready, and Ron said, I'm going in. I'm hitting him. And he went in, and he hit him so hard. Um, and uh, he was talking about how the crowd reacted. It was just a great, great, great thing to watch. And uh, I'm going to roll the tape for you here. Uh, take a look at this. This is one of the best. They actually got the baseball. This is a great moment in Philly's history, and that really, I think, uh, had a great emphasis on his MVP as to why he was the most valuable player of 2007. So take a look at the video. It's just a great video. Ball's hit well to right field. It is off the wall on one hop. Scoring Chris Coast. Jimmy Rollins is going to try for three. Here he comes. He's yes! got a triple. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy Rollins with that big 20th triple of the year. Holy cow. Wow. Unbelievable. 6-1 fills, and he pumps his fist at third base. Yeah. What a big hit. They want that baseball. 
as you can see, the crowd just went wild. That the crowd just went wild, and actually, that was the same year that the Phillies actually overtook the Mets. So that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty exciting. Uh, the next clip we got is a Chase Utley inside the park home run. He hits it off the uh, top of the center field wall, uh, out towards kind of left center, uh, a little bit. Uh, it's in towards center field. Bounces off the wall, rolls all the way towards the bullpen, and Utley can move. Utley could move. Like he could put it on. He could put on the uh, the accelerator if he had to. And I mean, he he really liked this one out. I mean, he barely just made. He just he just made it. Watch the clip. Utley. Lines it to straightaway center. Torres on the run. He's not going to get there. Watch this one roll. It's going along the warning track. Utley around second, heading to third. Sam Wells going to wave him. Fontenot's throw to the plate is done in time. Head first dive by Chase Utley on inside the park home run. As you can see, that was really exciting. That took place on July. 26, 2011, um, and uh, that was that was exciting. That was like the last exciting year of the Phillies baseball. Uh, hopefully, we see some uh, pretty soon. Uh, the next clip we're going to be showing is a Shane Victorino belting a grand slam off of CeCe Sabathia, um, and uh, that was amazing. Uh, he put the Phillies up 5-1. Uh, CeCe Sabathia obviously was a big trade target for the Phillies in 2009 uh, deadline, and he ends up going to the Milwaukee Brewers, and Shane Victorino belted a grand slam off of him uh, to make it a 5 one game. That took place on October 2nd, 2008. Just check this out. Belts it down the left field line. Check it out, guys. And a drive in the left field. That is well hit. Ryan Braun looks up. Grand slam home run for Victorino. As you can see, another great crowd reaction. You could see CeCe Zabathia's reaction, not very pleased uh, with that result. I do not blame him. Uh, now, the next uh, clip uh, we're going to be showing here is a Jason Worth walk-off three-run home run in the bottom of the 13th inning. Uh, now, what's really special about this is that actually was to 10th consecutive win that the Phillies had at that time. And uh, that was on uh, July 21st, 2009. And this was like prime, the prime time for the Phillies. Like this was like their best. This was when they were at their best. Obviously their best season was 2008 in this whole entire, during, during the little run they had. But 09 was second back, second back. I mean, arguably, I think they had a better se uh, regular season than they did uh, in 2008 in 09. I mean, they really, I think the ex regular season was more exciting in 09 than it was in 08. Obviously, they did lose in the World Series to the Yankees in 09, but arguably, I think some of their moments, I mean, I'm going to get to some of them here. I still got a good few. Of, a lot of these are from 09. I mean, a lot of exciting, obviously, 08 was great. I mean, obviously, we won the World Series. I just feel like the regular season was a little bit more exciting than it was in 2008. You know, Correct me if I'm wrong here, but let's look at this clip here. Uh, it was 10 consecutive games. It's a stay. The Phillies were on a roll. Here, check this out. In the air to left field, Soriano goes back. That's going to be a game winner. A three-run home run for Jason Worth here in the bottom of the 13th inning. The Phillies hitless at eight at bats with runners in scoring position. Hitless no more, and they've won 10 consecutive games. So obviously, that was fantastic. Um, that was a great, just re-watching that, it just shows how, must, how fun it must have been to be a Phillies fan during that time. Uh, now the next flashback we're going to be discussing is Carlos Ruiz hitting a walk-off solo home run in the bottom of the 10th inning uh, to give the Phillies a 2-1 win against the St. Louis Cardinals on September 4th, 2010. Now, you know, I think this home run is – because Carlos Ruiz, he had a great year in 2012, but I think he's kind of the guy – I mean, obviously, the Phillies fan really liked him. He was kind of a guy who was kind of flew under the radar, like, because he had a lot – we had a lot of guys like Utley, Howard, Rollins, who kind of were the top guys – while Carlos Ruiz wasn't really, you know, mentioned that much, obviously he was a big part of the team, but he just wasn't really talked about that much. And uh, he just, he, this just went out. Went right out of the flower bed, check out this home run. It was a nice home run to watch. In the air to left field. That one's fair. That one is gone. Just over the flower bed, Carlos Ruiz, a walk-off home run. Have defeated the St. Louis Cardinals two to one in ten innings. 
And as I said, this must have been really fun times, you know, for, for these Phillies. And, um, you know, 2010, 11, 09, obviously were really good years. 08, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to be, uh, the next clip we're going to be showing is Pat Burrell on May 2nd, 2008. Launching a home run, launching a two-run walk-off home run against the San Francisco Giants. Down to their last strike, he belts a two-run walk-off home run. Uh, and that was in the bottom of the 10th inning. 6-5-1 for the Phillies. Um, and that was enough to win him the game. So let's check this out. Listen to the great Harry Callis. Yeah! And drive! Obviously, just hearing Gary Cla Harry Kaus, he's like, his his voice is just amazing. You know, I really, really miss him, and what a great announcer he was. You know, it's a shame that he's you know still not here. You know, he was he was awesome. I you know, he's he always gonna have a you know special place in my heart. You know, he's just uh, just hearing his voice, and I'm obviously I wasn't a Phillies fan when when uh, you know when he was announcing, but um, he that must have been exciting to watch. Uh, you know, listen listen to him announce and. Watching that home run, I bet that was exciting. Uh, you could hear the crowd reaction there. Uh, the next home run we're going to be talking about, uh, our next uh, flashback, excuse me, um, was the home run um, by Pedro Feliz, a two-run homer in the bottom of the fourth uh, against the Boston Red Sox, and that was on uh, June 13, 2009. As I said, some of these are random, like right? I mean, this is kind of home run's kind of random. I want to make a point about Pedro Feliz, another guy that flew way under the radar, much more than Carlos Ruiz. Not really talked about that much. He really had a good uh, kind of a role play for the Phillies uh, during their run. Uh, played third base, didn't really didn't really get that much attention. Uh, but I just want to show. I don't know if you've ever. I mean, I hope you've heard of this guy. If you haven't, I mean, don't beat yourself up. But here he is, right here. Uh, watch this nice home run he home run he hits the left field. Playing in the dugout, in the oh. air to left field, way back there. his first home run since April and it's now a five to four ball game yeah he doesn't have a bad swing I mean uh I, I mean, I remember last year they were, uh, you know, obviously before our season started last year and we were, you know, having high hopes that they compared him to Michael Franco. So um, that was obviously we had higher expectations for last year. But anyway, uh, Pedro Feliz, you know, I, I, I liked him. I thought he I thought he did a good job. Obviously, he wasn't the star of the team, but uh, he definitely had a part in the, uh, you know, Phillies, uh, World, you know, their, their run for so many years in the World Series run. Uh, next clip we're going to be showing uh, on July 6, 2009. Jason Worth belts a grand slam to make it a 22 to one ball game in the bottom of the eighth inning, opposite field against the Reds, um, and that was a really just a, like pile it on a full moon that night. And you see it in the clip. This Dusty Baker just sitting there on the uh, you know the um, dugout step, and he's going like this. All you see him, you don't really see much. You just see him going like this. You know, because he's, he's losing 21, 22 to 1. He's just getting smashed. And uh, you could even see the pitcher. I don't know his name, but he even had a smile on his face. That was that was really fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, these were good times for the Phillies. And, um, you know, I just watch out for that uh, Dusty Baker uh, head shake there. So here's the clip. Watch out for the full moon, too. Here you go. I think tomorrow night is the full moon. Jason Worth to right center field. And that's going to be a grand salami. An opposite field home run for Jason Worth. And the Phillies are just piling it on here in the bottom of the eighth inning. They lead it 22 to 1. Good times for the Phillies. Good times. And I uh, hope you got a little good laugh about that uh, Dusty Baker reaction there. Uh, the next clip we're going to be showing uh, Jimmy Rollins. Two-run walk-off double against the Los Angeles Dodgers in uh, the 
in Game 4 in the NLCS. Um, now, this was a huge win for the Phillies because the, Do- the Phillies has always had the Dodgers number in the, uh, you know, during this era uh, of Phillies baseball, uh, you know, from 07 to uh, 11, the Phillies really just, and it wasn't always like this, but Phillies really did their job against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Did it in 08 and uh, did it in 09. Um, so, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, they beat them two times in the AL, uh, NLCS, so, to, to go to that World Series, you know, did it in LA in 08, and then they, uh, did it in 09 again, they beat them to go to World Series, so, that was pretty cool to watch. Um, so, here you go, guys, here's the clip, uh, hit it right center field in the gap in the alley, watch it. Line drive, right center field, base hit! That was it. I mean, you see the crowd going wild. I mean, this crowd, he, they were into it in, in this time. You know, we, we got we to gotta get these moments back with our players now. You know, we got to get this kind of baseball back. You know, and I, I, I'm really just excited to, you know, you know I, I'm not going to say we're not. I mean, we're definitely going to see baseball this year. And I just want to see an exciting season, you know. So uh, the next uh, clip we're going to be showing here is Chase Utley uh, on, on September 4, 2006. Wow, a long time ago hitting a uh, two-out solo shot in the bottom of the 10th inning against the Houston Astros. Uh, this was about right center field near the bullpen. He hit it. He crushed it. I mean, he crushed it off the bat. Watch it. Strike to Udley. Long drive. This game is over. The Phils have won it out of here. Chase Utley, a two-out 10th inning home run, and the Phils have won it in 10 by score of three to two and his teammates come storming out to home plate to Bob Chase Utley. You hear the, once again, Harry Cow's calling that. Um, great job. I mean, he really hit, hit that ball hard. I mean, these great, these, I mean, I think after watching some of these clips, I, th- I think you really just see how good this team was, you know, and why they won the World Series. You know, they just were, they were, they were really good. They really were. Um, and the final clip, I'm going to save one of the best for last. This is probably my favorite. Um, Ryan, How- I'm sure you've all seen this. Ryan Howard crushes, I mean destroys a grand slam into the third deck. 475 feet, third deck against the Washington Nationals to give the Phillies a 6-3 lead. That was amazing. I remember like watching that like, like maybe like five, six years ago on a replay, and I didn't really know a, a lot about the Phillies, but I was like, even I was like taken back with that. I'm like, wow, that third deck Grand Slam. I mean, that was, and that was the second Grand Slam he hit against uh, that. I forget that Nationals pitcher, but it was the second Grand Slam he hit against him. That was on May 30th, 2009. Watch this. He totally just destroys it. Look. Base is loaded. Breaking ball hit high in the air, deep to right field. Oh! What a shot this is! Third deck home run! A grand slam for Ryan Howard! It's his third grand salami of the season! And the Phillies have taken the lead here in the bottom of the third inning! Holy cow, was that a long one! Yeah, that's another second decker. Second grand slam off. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, you even see Howard, he was like smiling around the bases. I mean, that was destroyed. That was crushed. I mean, I can't even imagine being at the game. Imagine you're sitting up there in the third deck and the ball comes up. You're, like, you're not even expecting me to go and sit up there in the third deck. You really don't expect a home run to come up there. I mean, that was incredible. That was incredible to watch. Just watching that on a replay, that was amazing. So, yeah, guys. Thank you all so much for watching uh, this Throwback Thursday Phillies video. I apologize if it was a little long for you guys. Uh, but uh, next time we're going to be having some more, uh, you know, pitching thing like Cole Hamels, Roy Holiday, you know, some Cliff Lee. This was all offense. We're going to still have a little offense in the next video. We're just not going to have as uh, as much. We're going to have a little bit more pitching in the next video. So if you are a uh, – you wanted to see some good uh, – Pitching here, if you wanted to see some good uh, Royal Holiday uh, strikeouts, some Cole Hamill strikeouts, Cliff Lee, I apologize. Uh, but uh, today was a little bit more on offense. So next time, next Thursday, tune in. I hope you enjoyed the baby blue jersey today. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. 
I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy, guys. Peace out, guys.